Do you really want to visit a coral reef? By Bridget Eels, illustrated by Daniel Fabry. So, you say you really want to visit a coral reef. It's under the sea, and there are some strange creatures living there. Are you up for that? Okay, you need a scuba suit. Then you can breathe on the water like a fish. You need a passport, too. You're headed down under to the Great Barrier Reef in Australia. The flight takes about 20 hours, almost a whole day and night. After you rest up, head to the shore. Then take a boat to the reef. Scuba suit? Check. Diving body? Check. Time to jump in. The water is warm and sunny. Coral needs sunlight to grow. Don't touch. Corals won't bite, but they're fragile. The corals may look like plants, but they're animals. One coral is the size of a grain of rice. It is called a polyp. The tan corals are skeletons of their colonies. The colorful corals are alive. They both make up the reef. There are more than 400 species of coral. The reef is home to creatures, small like the sea slug and big like the whale shark. The whale shark eats the same plankton the coral eat. Others, like the parrotfish, eat the coral. But the parrotfish better watch out because reef sharks and Monterey eels eat parrotfish. Luckily, the reef has many hiding places. You don't need to hide. These creatures, though big, do not eat humans. Don't pet that blue ring octopus, though. It's venomous. Bite is among the deadliest of any ocean animals. Watch out! A lionfish has venomous fins. And a stonefish will hide but its spikes are dangerous. Stepping on them really hurts. With dangerous creatures lurking, perhaps you need a friend to protect you. If you were a clown fish, you could live in an animal. The animal does not hurt the clown fish, but it stings other creatures that get too close. Too bad you are not a clown fish. If you are a cleaner rat, this large grouper will be your bodyguard. In return, you eat parasites off its skin and teeth. Unfortunately, you're not a cleaner rest. You're human. Your diving body will help keep you safe. It's getting dark. Time to go. Despite the dangers, you did really want to visit a coral reef. It is one of Earth's treasures. Coral reefs of the world. Land. Water, coral reef. So as you can see, there's corals here in Australia, some parts of Africa, here, and here, some parts of Central America. Safe coral reefs. Global warming and pollution are harming coral reefs. To help keep coral reefs alive, you can walk or bike whenever possible. Fossil fuels from cars pollute the air and contribute to global warming. Both are destructive to coral reefs. Pick up trash. Trash blows into storm drains, which leads to rivers, which leads to the ocean. If you dive near a coral reef, don't touch anything. Take only pictures. Do you really want to visit a coral reef? By Bridget Eos, illustrated by Daniel Fabric.